Hello once again, audience. Chris and I bring her here, bringing you some Minecraft action. When we left off, we had just discovered the plans on how to make the pickaxe of the core, which requires a Thaumian ingot, a Thaumian pickaxe, and three fiery crystals. Now, uh, as far as I know, the last time we went into a dungeon, we got some of these crystals. I don't know if it'll be... Oh, yes. Oh, yes! We have enough! Ladies and gentlemen... Oh, wait. We don't We don't need that, do we? No, no, no. Okay, okay. So I, I know what to do now. I know what to do. Uh, we're gonna make the big X of the core, and then I'm gonna demonstrate what it does, and it's gonna be freaking awesome! Like that. So, first thing we do is come over here, right? And uh, we're gonna take this pickaxe and chop up some of this stuff because we need it, right? And this will make it go faster, which is nice. And we hook that up to the infuser. We take the infuser. Uh, we need all four. So we're gonna do that. One, two, three, four! Look how fast that was. And I got all four crystals back as depleted crystals. That's very nice. Um, so now, let's see. Uh, we'll take the crystals. We'll put them back. I have 15 depleted crystals now. We're going to take some ingots, which apparently I already had. I didn't know that, but that's okay. Uh, right? And, uh, Thaumian pickaxe is pretty simple. It's just uh, a regular pickaxe, but, um, you do that and you get a Thaumian pickaxe, and there you go. Uh, I'm not entirely... I think this is a step up. The Thaumian pickaxe is a step up from an iron pickaxe, but it's not as good as a diamond pickaxe. So, um, you know, there's that. Uh... But, uh, what we need to do, according to the plans, the master plans of the Thaumian pickaxe, we need some enchanted wood, which I do believe we have, we need some Thaumian, and we need some fiery crystal. Uh, now, I, I do believe we had enchanted wood, but I may be mistaken. In fact, shit, shit, oh, oh no, oh, I don't have any enchanted wood. Oh snap, I don't even remember how to do that. I need taint I need crystal, don't I? Can I try that with any? Oh, I better be able to try that with any. Okay, so um oh yeah, the Thaumian ingots. We left them in there. Whoops. Lol. Let's put that in there and let's try a fiery crystal. Will that work? Oh it does! Oh yes, that's very excellent. Very great. Um I didn't have to go out and find a vis crystal. Uh very sweet. So uh we take the enchanted wood and we put it there. And we take this Thaumian pickaxe and we put it there, and then we take Fiery Crystal. And we put it there. And we get the pickaxe of the core! Hell yeah! Pickaxe of the core! Do 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 You can't touch me cause I got the pickaxe of the core! Alright, so I'm gonna demonstrate what this does. I'm gonna go into my mine shaft in order to do that. And technically I can do that from anywhere, but, uh, I suppose doing it near a cave would be best. Uh, let me demonstrate it right here, actually. This is a good idea. Um, so, it, it actually digs out a 3x3x3 three by three by three, like chunk of whatever you're attacking. So, see this block here of stone? It'll dig out like a 3x3 three three chunk of stone. Or maybe not. Am I in something? I thought it... I thought it... Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That was the old version. They changed what the pickaxe did. I'm sorry about that. Um, what it actually does <laughs> is it picks, like, you can mine whatever you're, like, say I wanted to mine, let me eat this chicken, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, say you wanted some stone, but you didn't want to cook the stone, because it turns into cobble, and then you have to cook it in order to get stone again. So if you use the pickaxe of the core, it enters your inventory as whatever you picked it as. So instead of turning it into cobblestone, I just turn the stone straight into stone and put it in my inventory. So I guess in a sense, when it comes to mining materials, it can be considered, um, what you call it, uh, it considered like it has the, um, the silk touch enchantment. Uh, another thing that it does is when you right click, it sends out this little wispy thing and it gets as close as possible to the nearest ore material near you. Um, I'll demonstrate that in the mines in a moment. Uh, we have to go down to them. And I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, so that's generally what it does. Um, if you want the pickaxe to mine the uh, material you're mining into what it's supposed to turn into, 
say if you wanted to mine some stone and you wanted to turn that stone into cobble when you mined it, then you hold down shift when you mine it and it'll work like a normal pickaxe. Um, I don't know if that particular function of the pickaxe uses um, any more durability than just regularly mining while holding shift, but um, you know, uh, shooting out a wisp thing definitely does use more durability. As you can see, this thing is going towards the closest like mineral deposit in the ground. It lasts for a few seconds and you know it makes a twinkly noise and then it disappears. So that can be very helpful when you're looking for specific materials, especially diamond. Say if I wanted to look for diamond, I would go to the levels where diamond is and I would look for them. And that's what'll happen. Um, so yeah, let's go check check this thing out underground. Um, got kind of a news announcement, but that'll come up in the last few minutes, so stay tuned if you're interested in that. It's kind of important, it's kind of big. For any of you listening, you might want to like pay attention because it's actually quite awesome. Uh, but we'll get that, we'll get to that in due time. Uh, so, here's my, uh, epic cave of mineshaft doom craftery, or something or other like that. We're gonna jump down here. There's a zombie, he's coming for blood. He knows what's up. But I have knight's armor. He can't. He can't stop me. Screw you, zombie. Yeah. Generally. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just fall. Um. Let's get some torches up here. Actually, it's kind of dark. Still, I'm not sure why. Eventually, I should probably fix this place up. I'm sorry if there's also like this buzzing noise uh, while I'm filming because I'm like I got the air conditioner on. If I turn off the air conditioner with my computer on, like, the whole room gets heated up real quick, so. Okay, let's see if it works with coal. Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, okay, another thing to note about the pickaxe. When you use the wisp to find the nearest minerals, it does not point to coal. It must only point to... Yeah, I know it points to crystals. Thalmcraft crystals. Uh, and I know it points to ore. Uh, so, if, like, say... Oh, yeah, see? It, it just went straight to that crystal. It's right there, and now it's gone. So that's pretty cool. And we can keep digging down, and getting closer. See, it's getting closer with us. It's going in that direction. This is the closest... Here, let me put a torch up. It's going towards the closest material. Yep, there it is, cinnabar. And now it's gone. And we just got quicksilver from that, which is nice, because uh, that means I didn't have to mineralize it. Also, hey, actually, that's a th something we should look into. Let us go find some actual ore, like this, and see what happens when I mine it. Oh, that is genius. I have 52 iron ingots. Watch what happens when I mine this. Now I have 53. When you mine an actual, like, mineable material, like, or smeltable material, um, like iron or gold, uh, it will smelt it for you. So those are like the three main things that um, the Thaumian pickaxe of the core does. Uh, that that's that's it exactly. That's that's fucking kick ass. Jesus, I don't have to. Wow, I should I should just never use a normal pickaxe again. This beats them all. So um, there you go. That's pickaxe of the core. That's uh, generally it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna mine this shit, though, like, n normally, because, uh, you know, the pickaxe of the core, I regard with more, uh, I don't know, importance than the, uh, the axe of the stream, uh, which we covered in some earlier videos. Oh my god! I almost died. I almost died. I am okay, but I almost died. Uh, hopefully this video gets up today. It probably should. Um, I'm freaking going to a graduation ceremony for myself tomorrow. Oh yeah, let's just let's just jump off some more. That's a good idea. Uh, as I said, yes, I'm going to my own graduation ceremony tomorrow. Let's see if it works with this. What? No. Well, I guess it doesn't make sense because it's freaking. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's freaking sweet. You can just mine ore, and it'll freaking. Oh, that is so awesome. Is so smart. That is a smart idea. That is like mega smart. Okay, I don't want that. Uh, we'll just leave that there for now. 
but um, I'm glad I could show you the guys that. Uh, I guess this is kind of a tutorial video specifically for the pickaxe of the or pickaxe, yeah, pickaxe of the core. That's what it's called. There's a few other special items like this. There's a shovel. I know that. There's a. Uh, am I playing on? Yeah, I'm on hard. Uh, I thought I wasn't on hard for a second. Um, there is a shovel. There is also uh, what else is there? There is the hoe, and there is a sword. The sword is called Sword of the Zephyr. Eventually, we'll get to that, you know, in an, another episode. My inventory is full, so I should probably go back to my house, actually. Uh, which I will do now. Um, so, you know, eventually we'll cover all of these different, like, items from Thaumcraft in episodes of Mine Minecraft Adventure. Um, so, you know, there's that. Uh, that's pretty awesome, though. I didn't know that it smelted ingots for you. Um, it's kick-ass. Uh, I, I knew that originally the pickaxe of the core, when you mined, it would, like, mine out a 3x3 three three chunk of, like, whatever you were attacking whatever you were hitting uh, in front of you. And you could just dig massive tunnels really quickly. Um, but it, it also degraded your uh, pickaxe like really fast. And if you held it down, it would just mine one block at a time. But it still did the wispy thing. So, you know, I guess the guy figured that it would be more useful to have it smelt or not smelt materials based on what they were when you mined it. And that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. I like that. That's pretty smart. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration of the pickaxe of the core. I even showed how to build it, which is pretty cool. In case, in, in, for those of you that don't want to spend your time researching uh, with Thomcraft on how to get the materials and what the plans are, um, that's pretty cool. And you know, it makes sense. It's not it's not too ridiculously expensive if you've mined for a little while. Actually, it's quite um, relatively cheap uh, to get the pickaxe of the core. Now that I think about it. There are other weapons and other tools in this game, or this mod, that are much more expensive, I do believe. I haven't gotten to them. I haven't come nowhere close to researching them, I don't think. Uh, those are things like the uh, Elder Rich items. Those are like really advanced, like probably more expensive items to get and research and stuff. But um, yeah, Pickaxe of the Core is relatively cheap. I thought that was kind of surprising. I thought it was going to cost a lot more materials. Um, as for these uh, blueprints, if you get three of them or more, and you put them into a crafting slot, or a crafting table... Crafting slot? CRAFTING SLOT! Ha! Huh. Nonsense! If you put them into a crafting table, I know for a fact that, um... Get away from me, spider. I don't want you. Yeah, fuck your day up. Shoot off! Duel! Duel one! Um... I know for a fact that if you take three of these uh, research paper things, right, and you put them into a crafting table, and I think you have to put them on a book, with a book. I'm not sure. You can look it up yourself. I'll look it up, and when I get to that point, I'll show you in a video. But um, you can put them together in a book, and it'll actually make, like, a book full of the recipes that Thomcraft has recorded. Um, and, like, you can skim through the pages, and some of them will, like, show you hints on how to, uh, craft other things that you haven't fully researched yet. Or, you know, those are for most likely, uh, harder to get items. Um, and, yeah, that, that, that's it. Uh, so I just want to let you know about that, guys. Uh, I thought it was pretty important. Oh, my lag, my game just lagged a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, I've been watching a lot of videos lately and a lot of tutorials and stuff, and I don't know, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do now. Um, for sure, this series is no doubt going to continue, uh, my single player series, for those of you that are interested. Um, like I said, I have gigantic plans for this castle, hilltop future of mine, because right now this is it, this is my house. Yeah, um, I do have awesome plans. My castle, the one that I uh, imagined and kind of built uh, on a copy of this, is uh, pretty awesome. Um, all of these villages will eventually, you know, be like more uh, completed. That fort that will be like made out of cobblestone and stone bricks and stuff, and you know, eventually everything's going to be upgraded. Um, so for now, this entire for single player series is going to continue, but big announcements. Uh, me and my friend have decided to make 
a gigantic, ginormous uh, map. Like our own freaking world. I'm not even kidding you. Like the, the size of it is like kilometers in length. Many multiples of kilometers. Probably two deca kilometers. If that's deca meters. If that's a thing. Probably not. It's just gigantic. And we plan on making a series with it. We're planning on making like a. I, I'm not really doing anything right now. Sorry about that. We're planning on making a like a. A gigantic like epic storyline. We have our own kingdoms in it, and currently we are building the map as we speak, building the terrain itself. It's all going to be custom terrain. Uh, it's going to look fucking epic. I mean, I I have hardly we have hardly just this is something we came up with yesterday, um, and already the the uh, what the map looks like is pretty impressive. It's just amazing looking, and I wanted to tell you guys because in the future we are going to need some help. Uh, pulling this series off. I don't know if any of you are interested. I know a few people have contacted me about playing multiplayer together and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure if those are the people that I'm exactly looking for, but um, I know those are the people that would want to be interested. Uh, oh, that's the wrong chest. My bad. Uh, it's just that uh, something like this is going to be like hard to pull off properly. No, that doesn't go in there. What are you doing? Uh, Oh no! I, I'm putting stuff in the wrong, like, things, and it's, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> um, and it's just, you know, something I have to let you guys know about, because I know some of you are going to want to help, maybe, some of you. Uh, some of you may not care at all, you're just watching my video. But, um, I have two of my friends that are interested, one of them is actually going to be involved. Chances are this is not going to be something that I release relatively soon, um, to give you a better idea of it, it's like a storyline quest type of thing. Me and my friend have their own kingdoms. Uh, other friends of mine might have their own kingdoms. It's going to involve all sorts of different locations and stuff in this world that we're making. Currently, the way I see it, we are only exploring one uh, third of the map of the entire world that this, I don't know, fantasy place takes place in that I'm making up. I, I, this was my idea. I, I made it up that we're going to explore this uh, fantasy place. And uh, I'm sorry if you don't, if you guys don't care about this, you can just stop the video here. But um, this is for people that are interested in like adventure maps and shit. But um, yeah, to give you an idea of how big it is, uh, currently I envision the current map size that we have come up with to be only one third of the planet of this location. And we can only do the map in, like, chunks, kind of, because World Painter, the map editing program that we have, doesn't support anything larger than, like, maybe a continent. And so right now we are on, like, one of maybe 10 or 15 continents of this planet. And I want you to get an idea of how big this world is going to be. It takes us at least an hour, at least an hour, to walk from one end of the map to the other. Um, that's how big it is. Uh, and that's just like one fifteenth of the entire size of the map. Um, that's currently all we have done. Um, we're editing it. It's going to have like, you know, beautiful scenery and shit like that. So, um, I, I, it's going to be very far off. It's probably not going to happen until the single player worlds are able to, like, connect multiplayer, like, abilities. Uh, cause that's a, a future update for Minecraft. But um, I just wanted to get in a heads up for anyone that is interested. Um, we do not need builders, not at least not that I know of. Uh, we basically got that all under control. We got the map making under control. It's just we need people to like fill in the gaps for players and characters that are going to be uh, participating in the adventure that we plan on making. And to give you a scale of how big it is, if any of you have watched the Shadow of Israfel um, series, we plan on making something twice as big as that. Um, at least in terms of how big the map is. Uh, it might not be as adventurous or as humorous as that particular series on YouTube, but I guarantee it'll be way fucking more epic. Um, in my opinion, it looks pretty fucking badass uh, so far. And we haven't even like put up buildings yet or built the cities or any of that. Um, so I just wanted to let you know uh, what, the head, what the deal was.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for Pickaxe of the Core, which was mostly what this t um, video was about, but um, I gotta get off. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I look forward to hearing any sort of feedback for news for the news I just like announced. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Chris Nightbringer. I'll uh, click the l link in the video to watch the next episode. Like, favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and I guess that's it. Pickaxe of the core. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to shoot 40 of those things. My bad. See you later, guys. Is a step up from an iron pickaxe but it's not as good as a diamond pickaxe. So, um, you know, there's that. Uh, but, uh, what we need to do, according to the plans, the master plans of the Thormian pickaxe, we need some enchanted wood, which I do believe we have. We need some Thormian. And we need some fiery crystal. Uh, now, I, I do believe we had enchanted wood, but I may be mistaken. In fact... Shit. Shit. Oh, oh no! Ah, I don't have any enchanted wood. Oh snap! I don't even remember how to do that. I need taint. I need crystal, don't I? Can I try that with any? Oh, I better be able to try that with any. Hello, once again, audience. Chris and I bring her here, bringing you some Minecraft action. When we left off, we had just discovered the plans on how to make the pickaxe of the core, which requires a Thaumian ingot, a Thaumian pickaxe and three fiery crystals. Now, uh, as far as I know, the last time we went into a dungeon we got some of these crystals. I don't know if it'll be... Oh yes! Oh yes! We have enough! Ladies and gentlemen... Oh wait, we don't We don't need that, do we? No, no, no. Okay, okay, so I, I know what to do now. I know what to do. Uh, we're gonna make the big X of the core, and then I'm gonna demonstrate what it does, and it's gonna be freaking awesome! Like that. So, first thing we do is come over here, right? And uh, we're gonna take this pickaxe. Uh, I suppose doing it near a cave would be best. Uh, let me demonstrate it right here. Actually, this is a good idea. Um, so it it actually digs out a three by three by three like chunk of whatever you're attacking. So see this block here of stone? It'll dig out like a three by three chunk of stone. Or maybe not. Am I in something? I thought it, I thought it, oh, okay, I'm sorry, that was the old version, they changed what the pickaxe did, I'm sorry about that, um, what it actually does, <laughs> is, it picks, like, you can mine whatever you're, like, say I wanted to mine, let me eat this chicken, I'm sorry, I'm distracted, uh, and chop up some of this stuff, because we need it, right, and this will make it go faster, which is nice, and we hook that up to the infuser, we take the infuser, uh, we need all four. So we're gonna do that. One, two, three, four! Look how fast that was. And I got all four crystals back as depleted crystals. That's very nice. Um, so now, let's see. Uh, we'll take the crystals. We'll put them back. I have 15 depleted crystals now. We're gonna take some ingots, which apparently I already had. I didn't know that, but that's okay. Uh, right? And uh, Thaumian pickaxe is pretty simple. It's just uh, a regular pickaxe, but... Um, you do that, and you get a Thaumian pickaxe, and there you go. Uh, I'm not entirely... I think this is a step up, the Thaumian pickaxe. It okay, so, um... Oh, yeah, the Thaumian ingots. We left them in there. Whoops. Lol. Let's put that in there, and let's try a fiery crystal. Will that work? Oh, it does! Oh, yes! That's very excellent. Very great. Um, I didn't have to go out and find a vis crystal. Uh, very sweet. So, uh, we take the enchanted wood, and we put it there. And we take this Thaumian pickaxe and we put it there, and then we take Fiery Crystal. And we put it there. And we get the pickaxe of the core! Hell yeah! Pickaxe of the core! Do 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 do. You can't touch me because I got the pickaxe of the core! Alright, so I'm gonna demonstrate what this does. I'm gonna go into my mine shaft in order to do that. And technically, I can do that from anywhere, but 